So back in 2013, a man by the name of Tory Scott was charged with raping three women and the rape and murder of a Port Wentworth woman in four separate attacks, all within three months of each other. Now, two of those women were students at Savannah State back in 2013. And more so about this case, there is, has been a civil lawsuit case against the housing complex of Savannah State University. And the lady that was attacked has been awarded $10 million because of lack of security on the campus. Now, on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, jurors found the defendant liable for negligence to one of the Savannah State students, referred to as Jane Doe Number 1, in the attacks at the University Commons, a similar suit for the second Savannah State victim, Jane Doe II, remains pending. And in one of the other cases, Scott forced a pregnant woman into his car from the Candler Hospital parking lot, drove her to an ATM, and had her withdraw money from her own bank account and then sexually assaulted her before letting her go. Now, Savannah State Campus, I know I haven't really drove on Savannah State Campus like that. I've done that a few years ago I haven't been on the campus in some years now but Savannah State campus is it has a lot of crime on their campus believe it or not uh, every year you hear about somebody getting robbed a robbery a burglary you know people go inside other people's dorms and try to steal stuff uh, of course I talked about the homicide that happened to uh, Christopher Starks that happened like years ago and I won't call it a bad school but it's it's one of the roughest universities in Georgia, you know, as far as all the crime and everything else that comes along with it. Yes, you know, you're in a college facility and there's thousands of people on, on that campus, just like how every other campus is in the United States. So, of course, you're going to run into some problems with other people. But just this campus, man, you just hear a lot of things about somebody getting robbed. You know, when I... I didn't go to the school, but I had friends that went there and they would always say they have to lock their stuff, lock the door because you have just random people that will just walk up there and just will start stealing stuff, <laughs> basically. Sometimes there's people that don't even attend Savannah State College University and they still go up there anyway just to parlay. So if you go to that school, just, just really be careful. I know this happened like four years ago, but a situation like this can happen any day on Savannah State campus. Now let's talk about the latest homicide, the 31st homicide of the year on Sunday, October the 29th, 2017 at around 7.50 a.m. between MLK Junior Boulevard and Montgomery Street, right there off West Bolton Lane. They found the body of a 32-year-old Matthew Harrington Sr. in a vacant lot. Police say Harrington injuries appear to be gunshot related. There's no further information about this, but when I do my research online, like how you guys always know I do my research, the only thing that I could find out about this guy was that I think he just got out of jail not too long ago, maybe like a few months ago. That and the fact that he has a son, I believe. I don't think the son or the child is not even a year old. So I just want to say rest in peace to Mr. Harrington, uh, the 32 year old who didn't even really get a chance to live his full life. But one thing I just really want to say is that a lot of these murders are really senseless. It really is. I know I know I say that in every other video, but just imagine if all these homicides could have been resolved one way or another whether if that person talked it out with that other person or whether they just said hey you know i don't like you you don't like me let's go in the ring let's box you know let's box it out you know we don't have to shoot each other but a lot of these guys in savannah you know excuse my excuse my language but they some hoes a lot of these people in savannah are hoes man a lot of the guys are hoes a lot of them can't fight a lot of them don't know how to fight a lot of them are just scary man a lot of them can't fight at all so they have to result to using a gun which is the only reason why I have a gun is for self-defense besides that somebody run up on me and they want to fight hey I, I give you the, I give you the fade one-on-one -on -one. but a lot of times when people are in the streets 
there's no there's no fair fight there's no there's nothing fair when you're being in the streets so somebody pull out a gun on you the only thing that you can react to it or counter react to it is pulling out your gun but a lot of these Samantha cats are bitches a lot of them are all of them a lot of people in the streets can't fight man don't when you see people in the street you know that look all hardcore and tough i don't really take that too much seriously because i know at the end of the day you guys can't fight you guys can't fight one-on-one -on -one. you guys can't do any of that you'll get i'm pretty sure whoever killed this guy he had to have at least two or three people with him because that's, that's how scary you savannah niggas are and like i said excuse my language but you savannah niggas is hoes Ho pussy that, that's the only word i can say it. you guys is like really really pussy out here man y'all can't do anything with your hands y'all gotta i mean this is some whole shit really really hoes out here not only that but y'all took away a man who had a, a baby a son and i just let y'all know how pathetic and miserable and just how evil some of these guys are in the street you know, they don't care if you have a family they don't they don't care about nothing about that they just if somebody wants you gone in the city best believe it can happen to anybody all these murders man like i said if these guys if all these murders that happen if these guys could really actually talk it out or even if that even if talking didn't work if y'all could have at least just boxed it out or just have some type of conflict resolution skills that's the main thing that we are missing in the black community conflict resolution skills people don't have that i think that's just something that's just missing in our generation if you just really don't like somebody sometimes you just got to say well i just got to move you know I, i've had to do that before where i just really don't like this person don't like the situation that i'm in don't like my area i just feel like i had to move i've done that before and i know that sounds easier said than done a lot of times when the hate on you is so strong that's some, sometimes that's the only option because when you move i mean of course the savannah niggas ain't the russian mob or the russian mafia you know they're not going to follow you halfway across the world or follow you outside of chatham county once you leave chatham county i mean you're good but it's just something to really think about man like if if these guys really could have conflict resolution skills and not only that but we could see the less homicides i mean less than if that was the case we could see less than 20 homicides a year instead of 30 going on 40. but you know like i said man a lot of these savannah cats is hoes man they can't fight they need about five or six people around them just to fight or just to do anything you guys is hoes, man. Hoes. I'm out of here.